What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So we are back here with spring training and as I said in the last video, you guys support has been absolutely amazing. Hopefully we can keep that up. Let's try and aim for 1000 likes in this video for another video tomorrow. But today we are going to have opening day whether or not it is for AAA or MLB. I do not know. I told you guys I was not going to be playing spring training. I just I didn't find it really helped that much last time and I really really just genuinely don't want to go through because the most frustrating thing about spring training is after every single game you have to return to the clubhouse because it's not like a series it's not like you play Atlanta three times in a row and you can just fly through it no you have to go Atlanta back to the menu play Houston and you get a ton of pitching appearances so I am going to go ahead and sim spring training okay the coach is coming up to me obviously I am doing good so far he's going to say something would you like to get some working on your pitches we got the time I'm not really feeling it Maybe that was a bad thing to say, but I'm not really feeling it. Okay, and what's going on here? Is this my agent? What's, what's the coach saying? Would you like to get some working on your pitches while we got the time? I feel like I'm going to regret saying no to those. I feel like I definitely should be saying yes. Am I on the Red Sox though? I think I'm on the Red Sox. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's see exactly, because somebody told me that they just give me the AAA contract just so they have to pay me less because I had a feeling I wasn't going to end up in AAA. So uh, I'm happy about that. Let's go see exactly where I am on the team though. I would love to be the closer and no, I'm like the early relief guy again. I am the early relief guy again, which absolutely sucks. Like that absolutely sucks. I'm not happy with that at all. I am not happy with that at all. Let me go and get some of these stats up. Hits for nine. See, we're at a 79 overall, but it, for some reason it says a 74. I'm a little bit confused by that. Let's go ahead and go into opening day, though. We're going to get pumped up. Got the opening day nerves. What's Coach got to say today? What does Coach have to say today? Yesterday, a random kid came to me and said, we're going to win the World Series this season. He guaranteed it. I didn't argue. Let's get to work. Guaranteeing the World Series, you guys. Guaranteeing the World Series. I'm going to get to pitch like four games in against Gary Sanchez, Jose Abreu at first. And so it begins again, you guys. So I'm really quite disappointed that I didn't get to start this year off as the closer. That's kind of what I was looking forward to because when I was I was looking at the records and Rodriguez, Francisco Rodriguez, I believe, was the single season save record. And I saw that and I was like, that looks attainable. And if I had a full season with the Red Sox, which is, would be an absolutely great team to set that record with because they have a ton of talent going to be in a lot of situations for the win, I might have a chance to break it as like a very, very young player. But unfortunately, it does not look like that's going to happen immediately. I'm going to, once again, going to have to prove myself and work my way up. I'm thinking if I pitch flawlessly for a month, there's no way they don't at least give me the opportunity. Like, all I want is the opportunity. I've struck out my first two batters I've seen this year. That's all I got to say. I've struck out my first Two batters I have seen this year. Nice job. That's low. That's going to be popped right at the catcher. Got that? Yes, he does. Okay, what an easy inning. And I might just get more than one here because in this like middle relief role, I get usually end up getting a lot of innings, which is nice in a way, but in a way it makes the seasons take so incredibly long. Like usually a season does not take that long. Oh, Thompson, that better get fouled. Okay, oh, I'm so thankful that was foul. I was like, if, if I start off my season with a home run, my ERA is not going to be feeling too great. There we go. Nice knuckler on Trace Thompson. Three strikeouts out of the first four batters that I have faced. Okay, D.D. Gregorius is up. That's inside. Handcuffed him a little bit. Easy fly out to left field. And that is just what I love to see. That is honestly just getting the Yankees out. I'm not... I don't know, like, I definitely, in terms of, like, I don't like the Red Sox or the Yankees by any means, but I would say I'm more of a Red Sox person. Like, I remember the movie Fever Pitch. Like, I would never call myself a Red Sox fan in one million years. But the movie Fever Pitch really, really kind of got me into the idea of the Red Sox. So I like their story. And then the Yankees, I just really don't like the Yankees. I'm sorry, Yankees fans. I, I am really, really sorry. I really don't like the team. There's another easy inning for the young stud in Brett. Barrett going to get three innings to start off my season. Hopefully, I can get three up, three down once again. I definitely don't want to get into any trouble. But my command, definitely since I first got to the majors, like, it is honestly tempting. It is, I'm a completely different pitcher than I was back then. But so far, in this inning, I have not been 
Like, command is a little off. Just going up against Sterling Castro, I kind of missed a couple spots. Oh, my God. To me, that's a strike. See, to me, where I'm from, that is a strike. And that is very, very frustrating. That is what kind of a swing was that? It kind of a That was like, honestly, I'm pretty sure that was a check swing, like, half bunt. Is what I saw right there because I do not think that he really meant to do that. I'm definitely been pitching to contact the last few batters, not really going for strikeouts, just trying to make them make contact. That was a dangerous pitch against a guy like Jose Abreu. It's guys like Jose Abreu that you have to be somewhat worried about. But when you got 99 mile per hour heat consistently, you're probably not going to have too much. Like, like to worry about. Oh, is that a base hit? Yeah, it is. Oh, dang it. Nice little hit right there. Nice little hit. First and second. Have to make sure that I get this guy out. I have no choice. I have to find a way to get him out. He's a righty. This kind of this plays to my advantage pretty well. The knuckler. I I might give him a steady dose of the knuckler right now. I might just give him a steady dose of the knuckler, but he seems to be kind of catching up with it. So maybe the play is, especially because I'm so up in the count, like a high inside fastball. Another one sent foul. Stop fouling stuff off, man. I've had enough. I'm honestly sick of it. Stop fouling stuff. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know what you're waiting for. No idea what he was waiting for right there. Three innings of no run baseball. Hector Rondon's going to come and replace me. I get relieved. We end up getting the win. Look at me hugging Pablo. We're just so happy on the bench. Me and Pablo having a good time. Let's go to play next game. I am going to get another appearance. Most likely another one where I'm going to get three innings. I would say, like, that's usually how it goes. So most likely going to get another three innings here. Oh, in the seventh, I guess, down for one. And I, I, after being the closer in the playoffs, going back to this one, like, in the playoffs, it was so nice. I never had to play these garbage innings because of the fact that I was it just wasn't my role. I never had to go in when we were down four runs and just try and make the game a little less ridiculous. Oh, that's going to fall. That's going to... No, nice job. He must have got a nice beat on that ball in right field. Starlin Castro, can we get him out as well? High. Oh, nice job. 100 miles per hour on the gun. Do you like the 12 6 too? Do you like the 12 6 too? Not as much. I don't think you like the 12 6 as much. I really, really don't. Okay, Cutter outside part of the plate. Starling Castro is all over that. Okay, knuckleball. Can we go knuckleball inside? Knuckleball in. So that's what the, like, when you click on my player card, the one thing that they say about me is that I have a nasty knuckleball. And it, that could not be more true. That pitch has been my pitch for a while. I absolutely love it. Throwing that pitch. Okay, high and inside. That's a miss. Definitely don't want to go behind the count. I've been... Because I find every time I go down 3-0, I'll watch it. Because my command is not why I'm getting paid a slow AAA salary right now. It is all because of my velocity and because of my knuckleball. So I have to stick with those things. Oh, yo, you got lots of time. Lots of time. It's Jose Abreu. You don't have to worry about his speed. Easy out. Nice throw on to Mitch Moreland, who I'm glad is still there. Okay, top of the eight. Gary Sanchez. Let's keep up this reign of terror. 100 miles per hour on the gun. One of my goals for this season is to get a pitch up to the 103. Three range. Someone told me if I get all my velocities up together, that my fastball velocity will just be that much more. I'm hoping that they weren't lying, and that is true, because that would be super, super awesome if we could do that. Okay. Two out. These, these guys are just, I'm just picking people up and putting them down. Honestly, just picking people up, just saying, hey, I, I like what you're doing, and then I just set them down and say, you know what, you're done. And Your time is done court. here, but thank you for playing. Thank you for coming out and, and just th thanks for. Oh, that's a miss. Okay, my cockiness has got to go down. But I still have two Showtime pitches, which means this guy is getting two Showtime pitches in a row. He's gonna swing through that one. Do I go another knuckler? I think I should. Another knuckler. Hide inside. Let's see if he likes it. Do you like this pitch? Oh. He kind of did. He kinda, I'm not throwing him another high knuckleball. Because I feel like he was close to taking that one over the monster. Nice cutter. Outside point. But that's the nicest part about having that cutter along with the fastball. It is so incredibly nasty. 
and they Digging are gonna send me into the ninth. So if we could miraculously score some runs, I would actually be in line for the win. I'm not really gonna bank on that, but it's definitely a possibility. Let's go high and inside. DG, DV Gregorius, hopefully we can just sit him down. I've had, I've had enough of DV Gregorius in this video. And like, why are you swinging? I just don't get why you wouldn't swing in that situation. To me, that is a situation where I throw that ball right down the middle. You should swing. Okay, 12-6. That's going to miss a little bit low and outside in the zone. Okay. Let's go high and inside. Do you like the high and inside stuff? Yes, he does not. Yes, he does not. That made no sense. Low and outside. It's just... Oh, this... You got to make a play. Gold glove. Gold glove nominee. Gold glove nominee. Got to make a play. Oh! Oh! I think that was my fault a little bit. I, I stumbled a tiny bit. I think that I'd rather them give me the air than give him the hit just to keep my average really, really low. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Is that a bloop single? I honestly didn't even see where the ball was going. I My like camera looked the completely opposite way. Okay, one out here. I gotta get some outs. I'm a little bit nervous. Struggling a bit. Struggling like the, with the, those two back-to-back hits. The first one was cheesy, but it's a hit nonetheless. Outside 12-6. He didn't want any part of it. Definitely want to keep my ERA zero if I can, if that is a possibility. 99 of the gun up top. Okay, you gotta get this guy out. Got to find a way to get this out. Regretting using my two showtimes earlier because those would have come in really, really handy against this guy. Or the next batter, let's go low and inside. Hit, hit your spot. No, that's a run. That could be a run. Nope, got it home. Good job. It's a lot of base hits, though, in a row. They're not going to take me out, though. I, I, like, I know they won't take me out because of the fact they like there's really no reason they're down in the game they're probably not gonna win why would they take me out also I, that, I need that catch it catch it yes no better oh my gosh that's that's gonna save me that one pitch is gonna save me this inning because with bases loaded with one out the really the only way that you're gonna for sure get out of it is if you can get a pop-up like even a ground ball might score somebody but a pop-up just sets you up perfectly okay let's him with the knuckleball inside Knuckleball inside. Oh, are you kidding me right now? That I, those are the calls that I need, and I don't know why you're swinging at that, buddy. Don't know why you're swinging at that. Okay, cutter a little bit outside. Can we hit the spot? No, he's got some patience. Too much patience for my liking. Okay, three, two. Do not want to walk in a run, and he's gonna make contact. He's gonna make me work for this. He is really gonna make me work for this. Okay, hit your spots. Hit your spots. Oh, where's that going? No, that's two runs. That's two runs. Go, get it home. Get it home. No, we got him. Got him. Only one run there, but still, like, my stuff, I'm not happy with that inning at all. I am really, really not pleased with that performance. That second game, I'm quite embarrassed about. Am I going to get another? Okay, the series is ended. We're going to go back to Columbus. I was going to say, I don't really know if I want to pitch against the Yankees again, but that sucks. We allowed the one run. It is what it is, though. But yeah, we're going to play probably one probably one more game, I'd say, in this episode. Okay, so as you can see, it is Jackie Robinson Day. What an awesome day. Happy to be able to wear the jersey. I think last season, I don't think I got an appearance on this day. So it's the first time me really being able to play in this situation. And Oh, I actually love how the MLB does that. I think it's such an amazing thing for them to do. I feel like the MLB is one of the greatest. Like, it's just a great sport. Honestly, it is ran by great people and everything. I just, I love the MLB. I really, really do. I love the game. I love everything about it. One thing I don't love, though, is that I just allowed a hit to Mark Trumbo. 12 to 4 here, they're definitely, like, this is completely from, like, kind of knowing what my role is on this team. This is a situation where I'm pitching the whole time. Like, I, I would honestly guarantee that I am going to be in the game probably till the ninth, just because we're up 12-4. They're just going to give me the ball, see what I got, just try and get an eye on whether or not I can be the closer for this team in this video but as of right is that three is that three one no that's two two okay i was gonna say i hope that's not three one chris davis is definitely a guy you have to be very very weary of he's a very very good hitter can take things 
can go yard very easily. Like, if you make a mistake, like I might have just made, like, where, look at how far he hit that ball. Like, just look at how far he hit that ball and tell me that he could not make a souvenir. Oh, my gosh. Runners on first and second, you guys. I went with the knuckler in a situation where I probably shouldn't have. And Baltimore has always been a team that has given me a little bit of trouble. I would say it's probably the team that I've pitched worse. But I'm pretty sure it might have been the team I had that, like, lowest point of my career episode because of was Baltimore. And that's going to be a base hit. Oh, my gosh. Base is loaded. None out. And maybe this isn't the season, you guys. Maybe my stuff is just all. I don't know what is going on. That curveball, I felt like that was a good location. It was obviously not. The ERA is going to take a huge hit here already. There's no way at least one run doesn't score. But I'm hoping only one. But that would be lucky. It's most likely going to be two runs that are going to score in this inning. But we do have a huge cushion. So that's going to be okay. The knuckler. I need some strikeouts. I got to pitch to strikeouts. That's 100% what I, I got to pitch to strikeouts. Let's see if we can get out of it. Because if I can get out of this, that would be a great way to end the video. With like just amazing pitching to get out of bases loaded. No, no. Okay, two strikes here. I am going to go showtime. Knuckleball high and inside. Hopefully... This can strike him. Oh, no, we got to hold that. Where's that going? Where's that going? Oh, my gosh. It's right at the wall. That's going to score a run. But the other runner is going to have to stay at second. That is okay. It definitely could have been better, but it could have been... I'm really surprised he got that much out of that knuckleball that I gave him. Like, I'm really quite surprised. I felt good about that location, and that's usually a good strikeout pitch. Did not get so lucky, though. Nice pitch inside. This should only be a one-run inning, and my ERA is probably going to be hovering around, like, the 2 mark now. I'd say, like, the 2.05. Definitely have a lot of season left to bring it down but to me it's all about the numbers right now i really just want to become the closer i want them to have that confidence in me to call me the closer it just hasn't happened yet after the season where they even put me in the playoffs they put me back in the bullpen maybe i didn't have a good off season i don't know what happened but i'm quite disappointed about that okay cutter outside part of the zone nice pitch let's just sit some let's sit these guys down i've had enough had enough of them. Let's let's just go in and sit them down. Oh. Lays off that time and it's one and two. Those, Those are the type of pitches like back when I played really baseball. When you hit your spot, up. but There's they just don't get like they just don't give it to you. There might not be something there. more frustrating. When you feel like you perfectly paint a quarter with an off-speed pitch the and the ump calls it a ball, it's just so incredibly defeating. Okay, let's work our way up top in the corner. He doesn't want any part of that. Hundred miles per hour on the gun. Down 2-0. Usually 2-0. Like, you can test people with fastballs because a lot of times they don't swing. And that, that situation, he actually did end up swinging. That's gone. That's gone. Pedro Alvarez got a hold of that. And my woes against Baltimore continue. That was a no-doubter. Oh, my gosh. I left a curveball inside. Oh, that's not Pedro. That's Dwayne Watson. I don't know even know who that is. Maybe, like, a rookie or something. But, wow. Just... Wow, is all I can say that they're gonna leave me the game. If I blow this, like if I blow the t like 12 to 4 lead, I am gonna be in a lot of trouble. Like I am gonna be in a lot of trouble if I find a way to blow that lead. Okay, that is 12 6. Low in the zone, didn't want any part of it. I love two run though, and I'm getting tired. Just take me out of the game. I've been in these situations before where they just won't take me out of the game. I've thrown 40 pitches. I'm getting lit up like a Christmas tree. Just let, let's let move on. Oh, that's going to be a base hit, too. Nice. Hey, that's a guy just helping me out. That is a third baseman who is just straight up helping me out. You see that dive? Mike Moose. Oh, I didn't even realize we had the Moose. I honestly didn't even realize we had the Moose. Good job. Okay, one more out, and that should be it for my outing here. Got to face Trumbo. And he's another guy who, like, leave the ball in the wrong location. It's going to be a souvenir like the other guys. I got to be smart with him. Hopefully a three-pitch strikeout. And hopefully that's it for me in this game. I don't want to pitch against Baltimore anymore. I have had enough against Baltimore. They are going to keep me in, though. Wow. The confidence they must have in me is crazy. Or the lack of confidence because they're only willing to give me these innings. I don't know whether or not to be flattered or to be upset. 
but I'm just going to keep pitching, going to try and keep getting out. That's what I'm paid to do. That's what I was put on this earth to do, was get out 12-6, nice location, high and inside, Chris Davis, oh, is that a, that's a pop-up. That should be a pop-up. Where's our first baseman? Who has that? Oh, it's way out there. See, the shadow was showing it so much closer, and I was like, is anyone going to go get that? I thought about even running over and getting it. Didn't have to, though. Okay, this guy, he got a hit against me last time, and I, I didn't like it. He got a hit against me last time, and I did not like it one bit. Okay, inside, 98 miles. Are we up at the 50 pitches right now? This must be what it's like to be a starter, and I wouldn't mind becoming a starter, too. Like, anything but relief. Starter, at least I can go for, like, a perfect game and stuff like that. Like, in middle relief, that's gone. Just t please take me out of the game, you guys. Just please take me. I can't handle Baltimore. They just, they're the worst. They just kill me every single time. Thank you. Relieved in the ninth inning. Rest in peace, my ERA. It's going to take a while. It is going to take a while for me to work back to what I need to be after that. ERA is a 4.32. Oh, my gosh. Two innings pitched, three earned runs, and two earned runs. Thank you guys all so much for trying to drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And, yeah, I will see you guys next time.